I wondered if there might be something useful in the drawer. In the drawer was a single Q-tip. It was my lucky day. It hadn't been used. In the corner of the room was a pizza delivery scooter, just like the one the killer had escaped on. It was the shredder. The shredder just had one button. There was a letter jammed in the shredder. The gears had seized up. I tried to free the gears, but they were jammed solid. Its service was long overdue. The gears had seized up. The shredder was jammed. That wouldn't have worked. The gears had seized up. The letter was partial. Oil had dripped from the scooter onto the floor. I smeared some oil onto the cotton bud. I smeared the gears with oil. It was time to see what was in the letter.
I grabbed the paper clip.
It was the letter from Henri confirming that Vera Security had the contract for the exhibition. And it also revealed who was in charge at Vera, a guy called Madofsky. At first glance, it all seemed pretty run of the mill. But why was Henri thanking Madofsky for being generous? And why was he pleased to represent him? Maybe Madofsky was the owner we'd been looking for. It didn't add up. I had a gut feeling. There was something fishy going on. Through the grill, I could see something glinting, but it was too dark to tell what it was. The air vent had a tiny catch on the side. The box was empty. Annette had cleared everything out. It was a pizza delivery scooter. The paper clip was perfect for the job. There was definitely something in there. Through the grill, I could see something glinting, but it was too dark to tell what it was. Now, what are you gotcha? Well, would you believe it? It was a gun, and very likely the one that had been used to shoot Henri. Aha! So, what have we here? L'Américain, Monsieur Stobart. You will rue the day you crossed my path, because now you are caught in my net like a little red herring. Inspector, I'm investigating the robbery. No, monsieur. You are breaking and entering an innocent storeroom. I found the murder weapon. Found? No. Planted? Yes. Mou, arrest this man and take him to the station. I shall squeeze you, monsieur Stobart, until your pips squeak. Thanks, Ronnie. I just wish I'd got some better shots of the killer. Are you kidding? That stuff from the hip. Very dramatic. It ain't good, Nico. So, what's next? Get me an interview with the owner, and you've got Sunday's front page. I'm on it already. Keep me up to speed. Let me know before you write anything up, okay? Of course. Oh, gotta go. Someone at the door. Monsieur? Are you Nicole Collard? Yes, can I help you? I need to sit down. You'd better come in. The old man was out of breath. Would you like a glass of wine? Yes, those stairs are a nightmare. What can I do for you, monsieur? My name is Tiago Marquez. I saw your report on the robbery. I found your address. I came straight away. I needed to see you. And why is that? The stolen painting, La Malediction. It belongs to me. Ronnie had wanted me to interview the owner, and now here he was. Or rather, 
he was somebody who claimed to be the owner. So this stolen painting is yours. Tell me more. La Maledicio belonged to my family in Catalonia in the 30s before the Civil War. So what was it doing here in Paris? The fascists stole it in 1938. They killed my father, but not me. I escaped. I have been looking for it ever since. You have to help me find it. Tell me about yourself. I am Tiago Marquez, the rightful owner of La Maledicción. What else is there to tell? You traveled all the way from Catalonia? No, since the war I've lived in France, in the southwest. And now I want the painting back. Did you lose all your family in the Civil War? When they came for us in 38, I fled with my mother. But my father was not so lucky. I'm sorry. I would have stayed and fought for freedom. But I was just a boy. You've got my attention. But if I'm to help you, I need more to go on. I have something. This old photograph, it is of me and my family. See the painting above the fireplace? Yes, it's La Maledicción. The photograph suddenly appeared to link the old man to the painting. You took the photographs at that robbery, huh? I did, yes. I need to see them. Why? Please, I must see them. All right. Here they are. This one was rejected. George got in the way. Typical. Who is this George? Just a friend. He insured the painting. So, he will know who is this liar who claims to own my painting. I don't think he does. He would have told me. This is the best shot I took. They used it in the paper. Yes, it is how I recognize La Maledicción, my painting. It does look like the one in your photograph. So close, but now it is lost again. Here's the thief making off with that painting. What is that tattoo on his arm? Looks like a skull and crossbones. Headhunters, hmm? You will find him, and then you will find my painting. I can try, monsieur. You must, mademoiselle. Mm, this shot didn't come out too well. It's perfect. Perfect? Finally, la malediction in all its splendor. The lines, the color. The detail. It's been so long since I've seen it. Then take it. That shot is no good to me. Really? Thank you, mademoiselle. Marquez's story was very interesting, but I needed to corroborate it. I wondered if the gallery kept ownership records. And while I didn't wholly trust him, this was the one lead that I didn't want to lose. Where are you staying? What? Nowhere. Here, perhaps. I didn't want him to stay in my apartment. There was another solution. My neighbor is out of town for a few days. You could stay there. Yes, that would be good. Thank you. Great, let's go. Adam said that he would leave the spare key under the mat. It was just a doormat. My neighbor had left a key for me under the doormat. Which reminded me I hadn't watered his plants for a week. The key wasn't there. There was a large gap between the floorboards. The gap was wide, 
but not wide enough for my fingers. Using the sticky chewing gum, I was able to fish out the key. My neighbor had gone to a coin convention somewhere. His apartment was empty. This will do. Glad it's up to standard. I have to go out, monsieur. Ronnie had promised me the front page if I got an interview with the painting's owner. And he was a crazy Spaniard claiming to be just that. I needed to find out who would put the painting up for sale. Maybe there was more to find at the gallery. Len was sitting outside the cafe. He looked dazed. It was Hector Lane, art critic extraordinaire. Hello, Monsieur Lane. Ah, the delectable Nicole Collard, super sleuth. How may I be of service? I was hoping I'd find you here. Always available for a lovely lady such as yourself. Henri's death. It must be so very hard for you. Yes. I shall miss him deeply. We had such a very special relationship. The loss is so hard to endure, even for a man of such inner strength as myself. What do you know about the owner of La Maledicio? That was Henri's business. He found the painting, and did the deal with the owner. Would anybody else know anything about the owner? Not likely. He kept especially quiet about that one. But he always kept a manifest for every exhibition. I'm writing a follow-up piece on the gallery theft. Ah, so you need an inside view. Authoritative. Something like that. The police have finished in the gallery. We could chat in the office. It's much more comfortable. More intimate. I might even be able to rustle up a little bottle of champagne. Maybe later. I have some things to do first. Maybe next time, then. You mentioned the manifest. How would one get a look at that? One might start in the office. That's where Henri kept most of his paperwork. About the gallery? Of course, my dear. We can go there now, if you'd like. That sounds great. We can discuss my ordeal over a glass of champagne. A cozy chat with Lane was the last thing I wanted. But it was my best hope, if I wanted to get a look around the office. So, what are we waiting for? After you, my dear. The place was heaving with junk. Finding what I wanted wouldn't be easy. As Lane sat down, something stuck out from beneath the cushion. It looked like a folder. Whatever it was, the police had missed it. I needed to get it. Come, join me on the couch. I'm ready for you. You will be gentle with me, won't you? Oh, I'm never gentle, Monsieur Lane. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Do call me Hector.
Lane hadn't noticed the folder. With that amount of padding, who would? The only way to get hold of it was to distract him. Lane was taking up more than his fair share of the sofa. Monsieur Lane? Hector, please. Oh, Hector. Perhaps I will join you in that glass of champagne. But of course, champagne, nature's balm in troubled times. To new friends! To love! Oh, but Dieu, that is so cold! Oops, silly me. I am so sorry. I'll have to dry this off. Don't you worry, my dear. In the folder was a list of all the paintings in the exhibition. La Maledexio had to be there. It was. And next to it was the owner's name. Mr. Madovsky. The police had obviously not spotted the folder. I put it back. I had what I needed for my story. Monsieur Lane, thanks for everything. But I think I hear my editor calling. Ma chérie, no need to leave so soon. It, it's only a little spillage. And I found out who claims to own La Maledexio. Some guy named Madovsky. Sounds Russian, right? Madovsky, my god. Who is he? He's new on the oligarch block. Fresh into London from Russia with ambition and a bloody reputation. Call Art, this is way over your head. I'm gonna put a more experienced crime journalist on the story. I can't afford for you to get hurt. Relax, Ronnie. This is my story. Leave it with me. Let's discuss it over lunch tomorrow. Okay. But don't do anything more. See you tomorrow. Ronnie didn't trust me on this story, but I wasn't going to let him give it to someone else. I was going to have to move fast. Come in. Hi, Georges. Great to see you. Hope you don't mind me just dropping in. No, not at all. How are you getting on? Pretty good. I found the gun that was used in the robbery. I'm impressed. Yeah? Well, Nave wasn't. He accused me of trying to plant it, and then of being involved in Henri's death. Then he threw me into a cell. He couldn't make a stick, of course, so he had to let me go this morning. But he's convinced I'm involved. So if I put a foot wrong, he'll nail me next time. But, hey, on the bright side, have I got a story for you. Annette, the manager at Vera Security, lied about the owner of the company. When I pieced together that shredded letter, I got a name, Medovsky. Medovsky! That's the same guy who claims to own La Maledixio! What? He owns the painting and Vera Security? He has to be the one behind this whole scam. You're telling me! We have to be sure. What the? I cannot sleep on that bed. It is too soft. Josh, this is Senor Marquez. Uh, nice to meet you. Hmm. So you are this George, huh? Senor Marquez is staying in the apartment across the hall. Apparently, he's the real owner of La Maledixio. What? I thought you said Madovsky was the owner. 
Senor Marquez claims the painting was stolen from his family during the Spanish Civil War. Really? Do you have any proof? Senor Marquez, could you show him the photograph? A pair of statues stood on plinths on the mantelpiece. That's definitely La Maledizio hanging on the wall? It belonged to my family, so it belongs to me. The statues were quite striking. Who's this? My mother, a good woman, a saint. How can we prove this is you as a child? The dates would tie up shells. Who is this? My father. When they came for us in 38, I fled with my mother. But my father was not so lucky. If the painting really was stolen during the 1930s, then this Smidovsky guy has no legitimate claim to it. But how can I be sure that you're the boy in that picture? I can prove it. Look at my father in the photograph. You see the medallion he's wearing? He gave it to me just before he died. This medallion has been in our family for hundreds of years. It's definitely the same medallion. A snake eating its own tail. That's also on the painting. It is the Ouroboros. The what? The Ouroboros. It is a sign of my people, my family, my faith, the Gnostics. My father was a Gnostic leader. The Maledictio is sacred to the Gnostics, hence they both display the Ouroboros. A priest I met said the painting was the devil's work, a thing of evil. Ha! <laughs> he would say that. Do not believe all you hear from the church. Whatever you think, the painting is mine. If Marquez was the true owner of Maledictio, then Madovsky had no legal claim to it. Might be tough to prove, but if I could, we wouldn't have to pay out on the insurance. So, if the painting belongs to you, how did Medovsky get it? The fascists stole it. It went to Madrid, then Berlin, then, after the war, to Moscow. After that, it was lost. Until now. We need to talk to this Medovsky, but how do we find him? Nico looked excited. The gallery story could be the break that she craved. Marquez had let himself into Nico's apartment. Hey, Nico? Yes, Charles? What do we know about this Medovsky character? Ronnie said he was dangerous and very rich. He claims to be the owner of La Maledictio. And appears to be the boss of Vera's security who were supposed to protect it. Now that kind of figures. The best way to steal something is to get hired to look after it. But why steal a painting you already own? We need to talk to this guy. To do that, we need to find him. So let's go over what we know about the thief. Okay, well, he had a distinctive tattoo on one arm. And his helmet had Waterloo motors across it. Not a lot to go on. Why would somebody steal their own painting? Insurance scam? But then why kill Henri? I get the impression that Henri was somehow involved. I found the gun that Henri was shot with at Vera Security. If Madoski owns Vera Security, it means that he must know the killer. Well, it can't be Annette, but she has to be involved in some way. You said the thief had a tattoo. On his arm, it was a skull and crossbones with headhunters written around it. We need to track down Waterloo Motors. Have you tried the internet? I've been kind of busy. Okay, let's have a look. Waterloo Station, Battle of Waterloo, Waterloo Kebabs, Waterloo Sunset, ah, here we go, Waterloo Motors. It's a garage in London. I'll send the number to your phone.
Hi. How can I help you? My name is George Stobart. I'm investigating a murder that was committed here in Paris. What's that got to do with us? The guy we're looking for was wearing a helmet with Waterloo Motors on it. Oh, yeah. It's a very popular helmet. I don't suppose you know who might have bought one? Well, not unless you've got any more information, mate. The killer had a tattoo on his arm. It said, Headhunters. Oh, I know that guy. Yeah, he, uh, he bought one of our helmets just the other day. Terrific. Do you know his name? Nah. He brings his boss's Merc here to have it serviced. Words to the wise, though. Oh, well, yeah, he don't mess about. The car's registered on Dutchy Street, for any help. I mean, that's all I know, mate, sorry. No, that's more than enough. You've been a great help. Thanks for your time. See ya. Bingo. Good work. That has to be the guy. And now we've got his address. How about a trip to London? I thought you'd never ask. Senor Marquez, will you be okay here? The bed is uncomfortable. But it will do. Come back quickly. With the painting, eh? London cabbies. Gotta love them. This is the place, here on the right. To afford a place like this in London, you've got to be good at something. We clear on how we're going to do this? Yeah. We're two insurance investigators, see? We finoodle our way inside, butter Manofsky up, and then get the dirt on him, right? Finoodle? Yeah. Finoodle. You remember how to finoodle, don't you, Nico? George, how could I ever forget? Good. Because I suspect we're going to need Major League Finoodling to get this one. You got it. No answer. He had the typical features of an Englishman who likes beer and football. Excuse me? Hello? On your bike, darling. This is a private residence. We're here to see Mr. Madovsky. So? Do you work for Mr. Madovsky? No, I'm standing here pruning his edges for a laugh. Of course I blooming work for him. And who the hell might you be? I'm Nico Kalar, and this is my colleague, Georges Stobart. Well, isn't that cozy? Can you count, darling? Yes, of course. Well then, one, I don't know you all laughing boy here from Adam. Two, you ain't got no business round here. And three, I don't like French birds. Comprenez? It was topiary in progress. Hi, guess who? What do you want? Nice bush. Bush? This is so much more than just a bush. Oh, I am sorry. It's art, love. Or to be precise, topiary. And as everybody knows... Topiary is a transitioned form. That's right. 
a statement of man's dominance over nature. A metaphor for the human condition. And yet... It's not enough, is it? Not for the big questions. Life, death. Right and wrong. Tell me about it. You struggle, monsieur? Day and night. That is the human condition. Can we ever escape it? It is possible through meditation, contemplation. I see. It is our only salvation. Well, you give me food for thought, you have. Any time. Much appreciated at a difficult time. You are welcome, monsieur. So, anyway, this is my latest piece. What do you think? It's a uh, very nice... Eagle? A two-headed eagle. Result! Get in there, my son. Yes, it's a Russian Imperial Eagle for the boss. You spotted it straight off. I owe you one, lady. You have got that rare quality. Real insight. No, please. You have a rare talent. We'd like to see Mr. Madovsky. It's about the insurance on La Maledictio. The boss doesn't take callers without an appointment, but I'll see what I can do. I need a good reason to bother the boss with this. He's a busy man. I understand, but I think he'll want to speak with us. What makes what you have to say so important? La Maledictio, a painting that belongs to him, has been stolen. If he wants his insurance claim processed quickly, then he'll want to speak with us. I think he might be annoyed if he finds out you never even told him we came around, right? Okay, okay. Hang on, I'll phone him now. Yeah, Mr. Madovsky? French bird. Yeah. Yes, boss. Right, I will do. You've piqued the boss's interest. That isn't always a good thing. The gate should be open. I'll take you inside. Follow me, please. Mr. Madovsky will be right with you, madame. Well, we're in. Now what? We'll make him think we're all set to pay out on the policy. See if we can get him to talk. Welcome, welcome. Good day, monsieur. My name is Nico Collard. And this is my assistant, Georges Tabar. You are here to discuss La Maledictio, yes? Correct. I am surprised to see you. My agreement with the gallery specified that my ownership should be kept in the strictest confidence. It would appear that agreement has been broken. A man has been killed, monsieur. An agreement is an agreement. A life has been lost and a painting stolen, monsieur. We need to ask you a few questions. Bravely put, Miss Collard. So be it. I will cooperate however I can. How did you come into possession of La Maledictio? I purchased it at auction. We have reason to believe that the theft was an inside job. Oh, that is terrible. The staff at the gallery were so pleasant to deal with, but such is human nature. I trust this won't delay the insurance claim. I'm sure matters will be sorted out soon. Did you know Henri, the gallery owner? Oh, purely on a professional basis. My restorer recommended his gallery to me. Did you ever meet him personally? 
No, no, only via email. I rarely fly. I'm carbon neutral, you know. Very conscientious, monsieur. Well, the planet won't save itself. <laughs> what connection do you have to Vera Security? I've never heard of it. There is strong evidence that ties you to Vera Security. Oh, you are beginning to sound like a policeman, madame. We are merely doing our jobs, monsieur. We must leave no stone unturned. I would leave this particular stone unturned, if I were you. I'd rattled him, but I didn't want to push too hard. Of course. We will check our information again. I would do that. Your restorer, how does he fit into all this? Hobbs. Well, he did a little cleaning work on La Maledicción, that's all. Do you have receipts for the painting? Of course. I have already sent them to your office. Ah, these things take time to process. What is there to process? I own the painting, someone stole it, and your company provided me with insurance. I am the victim here. A state you share with the deceased, monsieur. I think that is enough for now. When do you expect the claim to be paid out? It will not be long, monsieur. When exactly? Surely you can give me a date. Monsieur Medovsky, I'm sure you... Please excuse the interruption, sir. What is it, Shears? Hobbs is here. Tell him I'm busy. He mentioned the, uh, portfolio, sir. For pity's sake, can he not just follow simple instructions? Uh, please excuse me for a moment. The gardener's called Shears? Yeah, probably not what his mother christened him. What a creep. Very clever creep at that. We got nothing on him, and he knows it. He just brushed off the Vera connection. We need something else to get under his skin. I could use Marquez as leverage. Yeah, it's just one man's word against another. So what else can we do? Let's take a look around. Maybe there's something here we can use against him. Good idea, Georges. You search, I'll keep watch at the window. I couldn't call Rickenbacker without a reason. I needed to see Madovsky's proof of ownership. 